All right, what are the differences between uh, Coach Enfield and Coach Musselman? Uh, Mus, very organized, very passionate, very loud. I mean, practice is very intense and upbeat, as you guys probably saw today. It's been a good change. I mean, one's not better than the other, but they're just different styles of coaches, and we're going to win here with Mus, that's for sure. Why did you stick around? I want to graduate from see I take pride in this place. I like to think I'm a pretty loyal person. Coming from Australia, coming all this way, there's no point to, I mean, I went to one high school and now I'm at one college, so I take pride in that. What was it like, just the, the, the period where, like, you were the only guy left uh, on the yeah. roster, just waiting to see you? It was strange. I went home, went to Australia to see the family. I took my mind off a little bit. Once the guys were coming in, it was interesting to see where they came from, their stories, and came back through all here and I got to meet them all, so it was pretty nice. What was it just talk to you, you know, just by my to the coaching staff, or what have you, about kind of the kind of team that, you know, you wanted to build? Without looking back at that, how do you think that came to fruition? I think you did a great job. I mean, we have length everywhere across the board. We have so many guards with size. We're going to rebound. We sucked at rebounding last year, so that's a that's a big up that we'll most likely get. And he's really building around this league. Big hands really physical. So. so any part of that nerve wracking when you are the, the only guy and you're like, I have no idea who they're going to put right. around me. Like yeah. what it's going to be like playing with them. Like, it's a little nerve wracking. I mean, at first, but once everyone comes in and you kind of get to meet the guys and see how good it is. And, I have a chance to show them what this group's all about and the pride of Brian Trojan across your chest. It's a pretty, pretty big deal. What was it like for you just when Coach Enfield left and then you see every one of your teammates leave? What was that? Rock was just kind of watching that unfold. It was sad, but I mean, bittersweet at the same time. I mean, you don't want to see those guys go. I loved them. All the teams I've had here since my freshman year have been great. So, I mean, we didn't have a good year last year and neither did Arkansas, so we're all coming in here for a, a rebuild and a chance to win. What have you learned about this roster with a couple of days on the court? Very experienced. We all know what we're doing. Don't really have to teach much. I mean, guys just kind of know how college works, and it's a different game, and it took me a while to learn. And we have a bunch of grads and seniors who are going to do that as well. At the same time as, as that complete shift might have been strange, do you feel like kind of that culture overhaul, you know, after last year might have been but needed or at least feels fresh and kind of welcome to you right now? Yeah, I mean, both coaches instill culture in their own different ways, both different, like I said, neither's wrong, but Mus is really big on our culture, and I'm going to be a person who can help set that. And these older guys want to figure out wow. what they like about USC, and the if they love playing for them, then like, that culture's going to come. It, it might not come by the end of the summer, but when the season comes, we're going to be ready to go. What was the process for you talking to Mus and figuring out if you fit in with what you want to do and what your role might be? And kind of getting that confidence that you, that you belonged here. Well, I first met with him, he just gave, put it up to me. He's like, what do you want to do? You want to stay? You want to go? Because he saw a bunch of teammates leave and I was like, I'm staying. Like, I don't care who I play for. I'll play hard. She pretty much explained to him the way I practice, the way I work. And he's, he's seen it when I was the only one here. He saw me in the gym every day. So. He didn't have to pitch you, really. You no, he didn't have to pitch me, I know. I kind of had to pitch him about USC a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> but he's here, and I'm excited. Super pumped. After a few years in the Pac-12, outside of the Big Ten, are there any teams that you have scheduled or matchups that you've scheduled? Uh, pretty much all of them. I've been mean, playing on the road in the Big Ten. It's just going to be so exciting. I'm glad I only have to do it for a year because that travel's going to suck. But, but it's good still having UCLA, Oregon, and Washington in the league. But just the atmosphere, the crowd. We'll build that here too, so when those teams come out here, they have something to play. Yeah. Any of your new teammates who have really stood out for these first four days? Uh, I know we're athletic. We can shoot the ball, we can score. We just have a good mesh of everyone's kind of playing with each other right now. We haven't been up and down that much, but like I said, the experience is there. The guys just know what they're doing. And guys are coming here want to win. Like They're coming from averaging 20, 19, but their schools weren't great. And neither were we last year, so winning is number one. Now, has it helped to have a lot of those kind of mid-major guys, you know, bring, you know, three, four years of experience into the program to yeah. where, you know, they're not just kind of, you know, mentoring a bunch of young guys? Yeah, 100%. Like, when I came here my freshman year, we had Chavez, Mobley, Drew, who just guys who have been through it, and they would teach you the ropes. And last year, I kind of felt like it's my job to kind of show these younger guys what it was about. We didn't really mesh on the floor that well, but off the court, I think we got it, and, but... This year's just exciting to have dudes who know what they're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.